I'm your host. We want to say hi to everybody watching on MNN. We want to say hi to everybody watching on our live stream. MNN viewers, you don't know what the live stream knows, which is we are cutting it close this week. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you all for being here in our studio audience. I want to thank everyone. I want to thank the LLC for playing us in. I want to thank Mimi on the hula hoops. <laughs> We've got many, uh, many people you've come to know and love here on the panel tonight. Don Finelli. Jesse Lee, Shannon O'Neill, we got Murph, the Reservoir Dog, we got Bethany Hall, everybody's here. We got the human fish, as everybody knows, the creature from the sea. Human fish? Human fish. What's on your mind? Human fish. What's he thinking? Human fish. Human fish. Human fish. Your time. <laughs> human okay. fish. Get well soon. Versus get rich or die trying. <laughs> get well soon versus get rich or die trying. Human fish, who wins that battle? Get rich or die trying. I thought so. Yeah. I thought so. And last but not least, making his first appearance on the panel in non-contest form. Last week he won. He is our new random random Andrew, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That, you got your own yeah. theme song, Random Andrew. Can we, can we call Random Andrew Randrew? We can call him Randrew if you want. That's totally valid. You can call Random Andrew, it seems like, anything, anything. you feel like. People take great liberties. I wanted to talk to Random Andrew before we even got into the show tonight. Now, Random Andrew, this morning I woke up, I was tweeted some links from a website called baristanet.com. Oh, yeah, someone posted that on my wall. Now, baristanet.com, I'm familiar with it. This is like the Gothamist of Montclair, New Jersey. Yeah. And I grew up right near Woo! there. Yeah. They interview you. You, have, you haven't even been on the show yet. But the, the person who runs the website, best friend's mom. Your best friend's mom interviewed you. You're getting press. I like that you're getting press, random Andrew. <laughs> but here's a couple issues I have. First of all, with you, I'm from West Orange, man. Tell Barista Net if they want an interview, come to the big dog, man. <laughs> They're talking to the guy who just got the goddamn thing. Second thing, Finelli, how many times have you been on this show? Uh, I don't know. Ten. How many interviews have you had? Zero. Shannon O'Neill, Bethany Hall? A lot. None. <laughs> well, none of my friend's moms run a website, though. Well, we all need to start like, finding those networks. That's going to happen otherwise. All person. right, random Andrew. <laughs> yeah. Now, I also want to say, in case any red anti random Andrew thinks come up, here it is. Here's your article on Baristanet. <laughs> you do reveal in this article that you performed in a high school production of Footloose uh -huh. and a musical version of Hamlet. Macbeth. Of Macbeth? Yeah. They said Hamlet. D they did? I think uh -oh. so, man. Baristanet. Oh, that woman. Get fact your fucking checking. fact checks together, <laughs> Baristanet. <laughs> Noah's mom. <laughs> Why is it called Bristonet? Is it about a coffee shop? There's some like metaphor, like they serve you news like I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Look at that headshot, man. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. I didn't get into it. Is that Should construction have, uh, that's blurry in the background? <laughs> that, those the are like stairwell. Stairs, oh, okay. okay. Also, you didn't that. iron your shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. We've dealt with uh, Random Andrew. I want to say our callers tonight, if you call in, feel free to say whatever you want to Random Andrew. Is, Andrew. It, his skin is thickening. On Twitter, if you have any comments for Random Andrew, just let him fly, man. We fully endorse that here at the show. I just Trial caught by one fire. part of the sentence that said, like Tom Cruise, comma, and I did yes. the rest. Yes. Tom Cruise went to your Yeah, because he graduated school, right? from... You were compared to Tom Cruise in this article. on <laughs> Like <laughs> Tom Cruise. Yeah. Yeah. Goddamn it's Random Andrew. To the the all right, so we got a lot of show tonight. First of all, callers, get on the phone lines. We want to hear your stories. What's the most disgusting thing you have ever eaten? What's the least healthy you've ever been? We want to hear from people who had heart attacks, heart disease. We want to hear from everything, because tonight is our physical fitness episode. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are going to be announcing a contest that will run through the end of the year, the Chris Gethard Show's Weight Loss Challenge. Do you have some extras you want to get rid of? 
rid of little love handles Your girlfriend is sick of Won't you slam down Won't you trim down With the cringe gathered weight loss challenge You can do it fatty <laughs> up here everybody who's in workout clothes will be participating in the weight loss challenge as well as some of our uh, our regulars who come and go some of our crew members some of our, our favorite audience guests will be coming up tonight we're gonna weigh in tonight everybody it's a ten dollar buy-in whoever has lost the most weight by the end of the year takes all the money plus our end of the year show that person will be honored the rest of the people the losers will be degraded <laughs> sabotage is encouraged you're allowed to send pizzas to your enemies' uh, homes and workplaces. Okay. You're allowed to try to get them to break. We will follow that throughout the year. So our scale's over there. So why don't we have people, uh, Random Andrew, you're going to take over. You're going to record start, people start weights. We won't say their weights on the You air. invested a lot into this uh, weight tracker. Yeah, I just made that right before the show. Yeah. So let's go. I'll weigh in first to start it off. Random Andrew, you'll then uh, Are we taking our shoes get off? it going. I'm going to go oh, no yeah. shoes. Just remember the outfit you wore. <laughs> so I also have to be holding this mic when I do it again later. So why don't you guys start up? Uh, like Murph, you sent an email earlier this week. Why don't you explain to us? You referred to yourself as a specimen. Uh, well, I, I, some some did when I was a young younger man, <laughs> 16, 17 years old. Years old, I was in very good shape. Uh, so I feel like I just need to, to get in the time machine and get back there. Um, I let myself oh, go pretty terribly for a while. Uh, to the point where I feel like my muscles are almost atrophied okay. at this point. Um, anytime I try to do, I tried to race my brother like two years ago because I always used to be able to beat him. And it was New Year's Eve and we decided to race. Came out of the gates and immediately like pulled something really badly in my <laughs> groin. Uh, okay. So uh, that's the kind of shape that I'm. I'm in terrible, terrible shape. All right. Now, Jesse Lee, you don't seem. You're not a heavy guy, but you claim you've put on tons of weight in uh, recent years. Believe it or not, in the last three years, I've gained 25 pounds. Uh, where? And, uh, <laughs> oh. Yeah. I mean, it's largely isolated to my my breasts, my pectoral area, uh, my small like I, I've, I have a kind of a gut. My thighs tend to be a little larger than they they, they have been. Uh, is this because you're married? Is this what happened? I think that's man? what it is. I just didn't give a shit anymore. I just ate a lot of shit, <laughs> okay. uh, drank a lot of beer. Mm -hmm. Basically, continuing on how I lived my life right. in college. Um, so yeah. All right. Now, Shannon, you've already been seeing a personal trainer recently. Yeah. Do you feel like you've, you, you have a less of a chance to win the contest because you've already been working on your health on no, like the rest I of us? No, I have a better chance because I have uh, built up so much muscle. Okay. The more muscle you have, the more you burn. Okay. I just have to stop drinking this shit every day. All right. That's fair. Rob Malone, yeah. of course, world's greatest dancer, will be entering the contest. Yeah. And then we also have some of our audience members. So, like, uh, I know Random Dan. Uh, you should be on your way up. Drew, right? Our head writer, producer. Let's get up here. We'll get this out of the way quickly. Rob Malone's also wearing the best workout clothes. Rob yeah. Malone's yeah. always. <laughs> he is the apex of fashion here at the Chris Gethard Show. Mm -hmm. Let's keep these going. So, Dan and uh, Omar, I think you guys are our last two in the studio. And then we've got a few other people who aren't here tonight. So, we'll get Omar. Dan, you guys should come up. In the meantime, why don't we go to the phones? Do we have anybody on the line? Yep. Welcome to the show. How can we help you tonight? Hello? Hello? Yes, you're on, the, you're on the air. What's up? Hey, yeah, Chris. Uh, my name's Jack. Uh, I have, like, uh, the story about, like, the kind of sickness that I have and so much of sickness as a condition, I have an incredibly lethal peanut allergy. I am one of those people. And Peanut. Oh, you have a peanut allergy. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, when I was a kid, I was on this flight from uh, Florida back to uh, Boston, and I was given a cookie by a uh, stewardess because, you know, I'm a kid, and uh, the natural question was, you know, does this have peanuts in it? And she said no. Okay. Well, it turns out she was a liar because it did, and, yeah, I went to the thing called... Oh my god, he died. He died! He died. That guy just died! Someone just oh put god. a peanut in front of that his face. That guy just died on Someone the phone. Someone gave him a peanut phone. <laughs> yeah, and started he's, a peanut he phone. Died. He's almost gonna say, he's definitely gonna say anaphylactic shock, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he, then he went and had there? it. Yeah. No, he's, he's back. He's back. back. He's back, EpiPen. <laughs> okay, I'm glad you used that yeah, EpiPen. I can barely hear a thing you're saying. Anyway, no. Uh, yeah. He's oh, he's dead. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I went, I went to this thing called anaphylactic shock. Um, I spent, uh, like, I blacked out for, like, an hour, and I almost died. I almost landed the, uh, plane, like, uh, did an emergency landing. 
But it turned out there were uh, two doctors and a chiropractor on board. Wow, so you got your yeah. back fixed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, man, I can't hear a thing you're saying. Okay. <laughs> well, hey, man, I'm glad you're alive. Thank you for the call. We'll talk to you later, and we'll try to make sure that we turn up the phones a little bit for our future calls. Before we do, we add the weight loss challenge, but there's a companion contest to this. We got some real skinny people on this panel. So ladies and gentlemen, the companion contest, the Chris Gethard Show weight gain challenge. Whoa! Yeah. Italian girls can't too skinny. Girls pass you by because they think you're too empty. Watch your bulk up. Muscle milk up. With the Chris Gethard <laughs> weight gain challenge, you can do it strong. Do it, Scrawny. Yes, so, all right, human fish, let's get on the scale. Needless to say, you are in this challenge. Human, human fish. Human fish is so thin, I wonder if he just eats a lot of himself. That's true. <laughs> or if he just subsides on fish flakes. A lot of oh. fish eat their own shit. Make sure you keep your okay. Is that cord underneath that thing? So, our participants in this will be the fish, Random Andrew, and Joe from the LLC, battling it out to see who can put on some weight by the end of the year. In the meantime, let's go back to the phones. Caller, you're on the air. Welcome to the show. How can we help you out? Hi, this is Alyssa. Hey, hey. Alyssa, what's up? So this is our 16-year-old fan. She calls in, lets us know what it's like to be 16 in 2011. Before you say a word, Alyssa, Shannon, do not, Alyssa, don't laugh because it encourages her. Don't laugh because it encourages her, and I don't think this is appropriate. Please don't say anything inappropriate to Alyssa tonight. At some point, her mom will watch this, and I, I will be in trouble. So Alyssa, That's not my fault you've got a relationship with a 16-year-old. Okay. <laughs> that being said, Alyssa, what's up? What do you want to talk about tonight? Um, well, talking about fitness or whatever, I used to, I don't do any physical fitness anymore. Um, I used to do, I did Taekwondo for three years. Oh, and hell I had yeah. Back belt. <laughs> hell yeah. Um, but I, I had to have back surgery, so I, I haven't been able to go back. But the thing is, there's no, I don't have any physical evidence of being unhealthy. So I, I can't gain weight, but I feel like I'm going to know that I'm being so unhealthy when one day I drop dead because I eat so unhealthily. And there's no way of finding out if it's affecting me at all. Are your periods so your regular problems? Okay, problem? Shannon, <laughs> stop. Shen, Alyssa, oh, don't answer question. that. It's an honest question. If you don't eat right, you can have irregular periods, and you can affect your future ability to have children. And Alyssa, I want to make sure that you're having regular periods. Shannon, wildly inappropriate. <laughs> Perhaps the most inappropriate thing yet. Alyssa, what I would say, right now you're young, your metabolism's working, and I can speak from experience. I think other people on this panel can. One day you will look in the mirror and be like, oh, that no longer works. I, I weigh 20 pounds more than when I was 18. Look at, I weigh, I weigh, I just weighed in, I weigh 35 pounds more than I did two and a half years ago. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah. I don't have any of that problem. I, I would stay the same weight all yeah, the time. Yeah, Don, you're not participating. You're athletic and in shape. Yeah. No, there's no reason to participate in any contest. <laughs> I, I'm fine. My, doc, you my doctor. Yeah, I should have. Hold on. Yeah, sorry. What's that, Alyssa? Oh, um, well, I, I eat a lot, and my doctor still tells me to eat more because I, I haven't gained weight in years. Like, I, I, I'm 90 pounds. She should be in the weight And it's, it's ridiculous. Like, and so I think that my heart's just going to get clogged because I'm going to die. <laughs> well, try not to think like that. I do find, I, I hope, I hope, that. I hope you don't spend your whole life at 16 assuming you're on the brink of death. I hope you can enjoy being youthful and exuberant as well. I hope she doesn't spend her whole life at 16 either. <laughs> That's what you just said. Your relationship with Alyssa makes me so nervous. <laughs> it's not a relationship. All, all right, Alyssa, anything else that you want to talk about tonight? No, thanks. Wait, Alyssa, what belt did you get up to? Oh, yeah, what belt in Taekwondo are you at? Oh, um, well, I got my black belt Holy shit. like a year ago, but I haven't, after, that's when I found out that I used back surgery, so I couldn't go back. All you right. know what belt I hope you don't have? Your chastity belt. Oh. <laughs> Alyssa, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Shannon, that was inappropriate, no. but I have to Come admit, on, you I fucking nailed, nailed that. Nailed you it. nailed that. Nailed you nailed that. That was, that was amazing. That was very All smooth. All right, so I think everybody's weighed in, right? Why don't we go ahead and welcome an old friend back to the show. Ladies and gentlemen, last time we saw this guy, he was kicking me because he's also a trained kickboxer, but he's also a trainer. He's going to come here and teach us how to get in shape tonight. My friend PJ, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show, PJ. Sure. I'm good, thank you. We're going to clear out these chairs, I think, and you're going to teach us some exercises. Yeah, we'll go through a couple exercises tonight. All right, so everybody who's whoa, in the channel whoa, whoa, whoa. should make it up here. Everybody in the challenge, that's Dan, Omar, Drew, whatever you want. 
this front row is going to go away. Oh, yeah? oh really? Yeah. All right, I'll just hang out. <laughs> Whoever wants to join in the exercise in our studio audience, more than welcome. So, PJ, you're going to teach us a few things. This yep. way nobody can bitch and moan and say they didn't have an honest <laughs> shot. They didn't know what they were doing. You got at least a handful of exercises you can always do at home. So what are we doing first? The first one, which is what everybody hates, but it is one of the best exercises to do, is squats. OK. Yeah. OK? So and basically, all I'm going to have you guys do is just do a, a set of 20, OK? And obviously, if you have knees and back issues, you only want to go down as low as feels comfortable for you guys. But uh, okay. and hopefully, nobody has any heart issues here. But also, what we're going to do I'm is uh, out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> A good way to lose weight is to do a thing called active rest. So basically, you do an exercise, and then we're going to kind of do a cardiovascular exercise right after that to get your heart rate jacked up. And uh, that's, you're going to burn more calories that way. Okay? Okay. okay. So does everybody know how to do a squat? Basically, we'll just we'll no. start shoulder width apart with our feet. Okay. <coughs> and again, only go as low as feels comfortable. If you've got knee or back issues, don't go too far. Okay. And all I want you to do is just squat down. As low as feels comfortable, sit back on your heels, keep your knees over your toes, chest up, butt down, yep, and then just come right back up, okay? PJ, I already hate this. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay? And I'm just going to have you guys go at your own pace, all right? And just knock out 20, guys, okay? Down as low as feels comfortable, sit back on your butt heels, Chris. Okay, yeah, I'm already, already, already screwing up, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you look like a... He's going to be down. Can face the Absolutely. I'm just... Chris looks like an old man. <laughs> sit back on your heels. <laughs> There, PJ, stay next to Chris and face the camera. Yeah, right? absolutely. Let's get over here. We should. We can take some calls while we're doing squats, right? <laughs> no so let's go ahead and let's take a call. Call here on the line. So Welcome to the show. Very good. How are you? To the last person does theirs. Good. <laughs> That's motivation. That's how you lose weight. Do we have a caller on the line? Hello. Hi. You're on the show. How can we help you? Hi. What's up? Um, first, I want to say hi, to Andrew, and welcome him to the show. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice. What else? What's up on your What's on your mind? Sorry if we're distracted. We're all exercising. <laughs> no, I'll take this. I'm in shape. Yes. <laughs> yeah, just go call ahead. her. Yeah, what do you want, call her? Um, well, I want to say I'm like the worst eater ever. Like it's pretty disgusting. I'll have like pizza for breakfast and like Taco Bell for lunch, and it gets really gross. And I have just like leftovers all day. And I think I'm, I'm pretty addicted to sushi, and I'm not sure if that's good for you. I'll have like sushi. three. I had uh, an entire Papa John's pizza eat. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday I did that. I, I quit. I left work early so I could get home and eat a pint of ice cream you that I had in the freezer. I think today's callers are all just going to be callers that are like, I eat whatever I want. I'm really skinny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. OK. Going? Caller, anything else you want to talk about? Um, I actually wanted to say to Shannon that the thing she says to Alyssa is hilarious, and I love what she says to her. Okay. I think it's really funny. Throw fuel on the fire. Don't do that. Don't, that's a child. I'm sorry. Perhaps the worst idea I've ever had. I love it. Like, it's so funny. It amuses me so much. So just, I know Chris is, like, inappropriate, and you yell at her all the time, but it is, it is funny. You got it, girl. I'll keep doing it for you. <laughs> you are. All right. Thank you very much, caller. That's very Bang. kind of you. All right, PJ, what's okay. next? Now, well, now what I want you guys to do, so this is right after you do your squats, and we'll do modifications, but some of you guys are going to do jump squats. Okay. okay. Some of you, if you can't do the jump squats, you're just going to sit in a squat, in an isometric okay. hold, and just hold it for as long as you can, okay? So again, this is supposed to be active rest? This is your active rest. This is what you would do after. Normally, you rest... Okay. During, so we're, we should start. You want to keep moving, yeah. Okay. So I want you guys to do 20 jump squats now. Okay. And other people, if you can't do the jump squats, just stay in isometric hold. Good. Okay, caller, you're on the first the show. Welcome to the show. How can we help you? Okay, caller, you're on the first gather show. You gotta turn down your TV, man. Hello? Yeah, you gotta turn down your TV. You're on the air. Hello? Yeah, you got it. Please, I'm gonna hang up on you. Hello? Okay, Good. thank you for your call. Good. Good job. Don't lean forward and your back hurts. Okay. One thing you guys don't want to do is lean forward too far. That's how you hurt your back. Okay. okay. Good. All right. 
It's really sad. <laughs> How's everybody feeling, right? Great. One yeah. exercise down. What? That's one? That's two? <laughs> That's one exercise. That's yeah. That's and in, right. in theory, you'd be doing three sets of these, okay? And then you'd move on okay. to your next one. Okay. Yeah, it's a theory. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so what's next? Now let's go right into push-ups, guys. All right. Another exercise. Okay. <laughs> Very simple to do. All these exercises can be done at home. Okay. okay. Okay, and now all we're going to do here is just shoulder width apart with your, your hands, okay? This is going to be really embarrassing. <laughs> you can do them two ways. You can do them on your knees or you can do them your, the regular way, okay? Okay. And in theory, I want you guys to bring your chest as low as you can. If I was to put my, my fist here, Chris, I want you to be able to touch. <laughs> this is like the movie Stripes when okay. they're trying to do the push-ups. Good. Ready? Let's go. Ready? Now knock out, knock out as many push-ups as you can. Okay, let's take a call. <laughs> Caller, you're on the air. How can we help you? Hello? Caller! <laughs> oh, is it me? Yeah. What? Oh. oh, it's Karen. Hi. Hey, Karen. Hi. Keep punching them out. <laughs> Karen, what do you want? Oh, I was going to say, Murph's not wearing his uniform. I know. It's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> trying to get in shape, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the call. Yeah, the reservoir dog is not dressed like a reservoir dog tonight, but he's no. wearing workout clothes. We're all wearing workout clothes, Karen. <laughs> Do you have any health-related stories you want to it's, tell? It's upsetting. I know. It's weird seeing Murph without his outfit. It's the first time I've ever seen him. It's the first time I've ever seen him without it. Yeah, it's bizarre. And whoever answers your 20. phone is the nicest. Oh, She's yes. She's great. Kelly Dunlap. She's the best. Nice, Shannon. Good job. Well, thank you for calling up and complimenting our staff. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, have fun, you guys. Don't stop. Well, don't stop till you have to, guys. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, we can move on now. We can move on to the next okay. act of Oh, wait. Exercise. Shannon, okay. Jesse, Jesse's trying to battle yeah. Shannon. Go well, on. keep going until we stop. Oh, right. shit. Okay. <laughs> So, Jesse versus Shannon. It's not a versus, it's just I'm not a pussy and you guys are. <laughs> That's fair. It's all the focus on us now. Yeah, uh, and the rest of us are here. catching our breath. Yeah, we're all pussy. Real determination going on. Okay, here we go. Should we go back to the phones? Drew, what should we do? Uh, we're going to go to uh, video right. soon, but uh, let's finish this push-up contest. For the okay. Next okay. So, after the... Uh, Everybody done with your push-ups? The human fish doing push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Looks very working weird. Spins out. Yeah. <laughs> Physiology is not designed for this. No. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go set up. I'll set up the video now. Is that cool? Yeah, sounds great. All right, so we have a very special video. Next week, we have a special event here at the show. Connor Ratliff, who, a lot of people who watch the show know he's running for president. We have the great American presidential debate happening. We're very, very excited. He used the internet. He has an, another presidential candidate who's going to join us next week. That's not a joke. Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I believe he's going to reveal to us who he'll be debating. Let's go ahead. Let's check in with Connor, see how his campaign's going, see what this debate's going to be. This Wednesday, history will be made. On Wednesday night, it's your chance to witness the political event of the year. I need you to make sure my hair looks good. It's the Great American Presidential Debate, live on The Chris Gethard Show, October 26th at 11 o'clock p.m., featuring the following confirmed guest who says he will be here. Who are we talking about? You guessed it. Rent too damn high is my thing. Jimmy McMillan is my name. Jimmy McMillan will be appearing on The Chris Gethard Show on Wednesday night alongside these invited presidential candidates. Unless, that is, it turns out they are all afraid to... Debate! 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 The next president of the United States, me, Connor Ratliff. One thing's for certain, if you're not in this debate, you don't want to be president. The Great American Presidential Debate, live on The Chris Gethard Show, October 26th at 11 o'clock p.m. Debate! 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 All right, ladies and gentlemen, next week, Connor Ratliff, he's 35 years old, he's running for president. Versus Jimmy McMillan, the rent is too damn high. Two New York political legends facing off here on the Chris Gethard Show. With so much facial hair also. Connor's got his facial hair, Jimmy McMillan's got his facial hair. It's going to be battle for the century. Tune in, spread the word. Ratliff versus McMillan. What's more important to America? Being 35 years old or the rent being too damn high? We'll find out next week. In the meantime, let's go to the phones. Hello, welcome to the show. How can we help you? Hi, it's Connor Ratliff. Hey! Connor Ratliff! Hey! Presidential candidate, Connor Ratliff, speak of the devil. Connor, we just aired your video. I can feel the buzz in the studio. Oh, I can feel it. I'm halfway across the country, and I can feel the buzz from here.
You felt the aftershocks of your announcement. I have a, I have a mini announcement to go along with that. Okay. Um, we have confirmation from the Mitt Romney for president campaign. We have official word that Governor Romney will not be participating okay. in the great American presidential Governor debate. Romney will not attend, but they did get back to you, and that's a good first step. That's right. He did, he did reach out. He had one of his people reach out. Okay. So you haven't heard back from anyone else? No, no one else has gotten back to me yet. So which candidates, then, can we say might participate because there have been no official rejections? Yeah, I, my assumption is that all of the other candidates are going to show up. I just they haven't gotten back to me yet. <coughs> okay. But they're very busy. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm talking over you, I think. No, that's okay. So next week, it's you and Jimmy McMillan for sure, and then Definitely. probably Rick Perry, Michelle probably Bachman. Perry, probably President Obama. Okay. I mean, these are all... RSVPing is a complicated process. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in touch with yeah, uh, John Huntsman's daughters. Uh, okay. on Twitter, and I'm in touch with both of them, trying to get them to appear. All right. Um, well, so it's all very exciting. Yes, we're very excited as well. We can't wait to see you and the other candidates face off. Any last words you want to say? Anything they should be uh, bracing themselves yes. for next week? Yes, I want everyone, everyone to go on Twitter, go on Facebook, and harass the remaining candidates. Don't worry about Romney. He's a lost cause. He's not going to be president. Uh, he doesn't want it enough. He's not willing to be on the, on the debate. He's showed his true colors. <laughs> All right, fair enough. So I, hopefully our uh, fan base gets to work and we can harass someone else into joining us next week. But at the very least, Connor Ratliff versus Jimmy Millen. We're all very excited for that, Connor. Have a great night. In the meantime, Thanks. we have some guests of the LLC. Hello? Uh, right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have some very special guests with us. We want everybody on their feet. Get ready to dance. I'm very excited these guys are joining us. They are exactly what they sound like. Please welcome the Toys and Tiny Instruments. All I want to do is be some kind of storyteller, be a narrator for mine. Living on the side of the stage in the spotlight, telling other people's lives. I never try to worry and I'm never upset because I've got the whole book in my hand. Everybody's waiting around just to hear what I'm Some kind of tragedy and everybody's gonna die Well, a narrator, he don't have it, nobody So a narrator never cries, yeah Talking straight to you
of the 20th century. His slow and folksy ways boil down the tumultuous events of the 60s in a way that reminds us all of the complexity of living in those crazy times together. From his park bench, Forrest is truly an American icon, and he holds a place in our hearts as he gives us that familiar truism. Here we go. Mama always said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. Ben to weird out the human fish. Yeah. During the Forrest Gump part, the fish was like, what's going on, man? And he's half man, half fish. He did clap as soon as he said Tom Hanks. He loves Tom. We just learned the human fish loves Tom Hanks. That's a shout out to Tom, to Tom Hanks. Hanks. Wow. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's learn another exercise if PJ's up here. Let's go ahead. What are we doing now? Um, well, it's going to be a continuation. You, for now, you guys can have the active rest exercise to the okay. push-ups. So you're going to need a little room for this. And you, some of you may know these. These are burpees. Mm. OK? Oh. So you guys are going to squat down, hands down, kick out, <laughs> in, and up. Uh, OK? And that's the modified version. You can do okay. much this more intense version. What's the intense version? The intense yeah. version, the yeah. intense jumping, version right? jumping, exactly. And a push-up? Or, push or down your chest? Push-up right? and a jump, exactly. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the advanced so, version if you guys want. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe just have a couple of you do that because it's okay. you may not have enough so space. So squat down. Okay. So you're going to squat down as your hands touch, kick out, come back, and up. That's it? Yep. Okay. Let's get to work, everybody. <laughs> In the meantime, do we have any callers on the line? Welcome okay. to the line. You're on the Chris Gether Show. How can we help you? Uh, turn down your TV. <laughs> 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 Excuse me? <laughs> Did you just call? Who is this? Who is this? Who is this? Keep talking. You're the best. <laughs> what else do you want to say? He likes to have a big butt with a penis on him. <laughs> hey, kid, how old are you, man? <laughs> Hey man, I asked you a question. How old are you? <laughs> That's not a number. I want a number. How old are you? Five. Five. Oh, that is a number. <laughs> that is a number. Sorry about that. So what else do you want to talk about tonight? Anything you want. Let's talk about anything. You can stay on the phone as long as you want. Do you have a butterfly on your penis? <laughs> You're, you shouldn't be calling TV shows and talking about penises, kid. What specifically do you want to know? Does he have something on his penis? A butterfly. A butterfly? Does who have a butterfly? No, I'm talking about Boy with a butterfly. Boy with a butterfly? Who has a butterfly? He has a tattoo. Butterfly tattoo? Human dick. Human, <laughs> human fish, walk up and let's just stare into this camera because you've got a very young fan. <laughs> <laughs> human fish, this kid versus Hitler. Human fish, human fish. Hitler. <laughs> human, human, human fish, this kid versus tuberculosis. 
Oh, I hate the human fish dance. Human fish, the kid wants to see you dance. Dance, human fish. Dance to the kid. Can we have some dance music for the human fish? Is that possible, LLC? We're going to give this kid whatever he wants. This could be the rest of our show, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, what else do you want? Anything else you want the human fish to do, kid? Who wants a big butt whip? Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for standing up late. Calling in. Now let's get back to our burpees, guys. We're taking this seriously. And also, I've been informed that a guy dressed as Ernie from Sesame Street is here. He wants to give some of us presents. Oh, that's so right. let's, uh, <laughs> let's keep doing burpees. That's happened before. <laughs> Uh, not I know who you are. I kept looking over at Ernie over there, yeah. and he kept humping stuff. No, no, no. Random George, I know it's you. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's Random George, ladies and gentlemen. The mystery Greek. The mystery Greek is back. <laughs> How are you, Random George? How have you been? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the care. Hey, Chen! Oh. Chen, don't assault! Don't assault Brandon Joy! Can you show your shit stains to the audience? Where's the worst for everybody? Yes, <laughs> uh, 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 man. Hey. Yes, I'm not. 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 Yes, I'm <laughs> this is by far our most bizarre show, right? Yeah, this is weird. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Ήρθα να να σας δείξω πως γυμνάζονται οι άντρες από την Ελλάδα. He's here to show you how uh, men from Greece uh -huh. work out. Okay. Shitting their pants. Sometimes it's for everybody. This is human, human fish, fish. okay. Everybody else will give you something lighter. Can you let random George know we need to pick up the pace a little bit? Uh, yeah. He'll sit here and work out with you. Okay, you want to work out with us for the rest of the show? That's great. Okay. Now I've heard, we, this, is, this show is, I mean, five-year-old kids, bizarre characters. We've got another one on the way. Uh, two different times now, this guy has offered to be the show's mascot. Both times it's gone... Really poorly. Come on! Random Andrew, you got the shitty underwear. I think that's good. It's on the outside, not the inside. Let's focus. So, ladies and gentlemen, we want to get this guy back on the show finally to do his thing. We're hoping that he's not thwarted by his, this enemy who's been taunting him. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back to the stage the show's mascot, Gethy! <laughs> Someone just threw a gourd at you, man. <laughs> that Someone just hit Rob Malone with a gourd. Gethy, get out of here, man. It's that guy. It's that guy. That guy's coming for you. Gethy, get out of here. The banana went to take photographs. The banana man just chased Gethy out. We're hoping Gethy's safe. Hoping everything is all right with Gethy. He's been...
<laughs> well, we all just saw Gethy die in a car. <laughs> Gethy just died in an exploding car. Gethy he drives a car. car. <laughs> Gethy drives a car and the car fucking exploded. And I feel bad. Oh, Cause man. I'm going to chase them out of here. Anyway, let's get back to exercising. Yeah. Gethy's dead. We don't have to worry about him anymore. <laughs> so yeah, what else are we going to do? Hey, now we're going to go into front lunges, guys. So we're okay. Step forward. One week from down. tonight, history no. will be made. Yeah. All the legs. No. <laughs> <laughs> this show's fucked up tonight. <laughs> okay, this one's not that hard. No, 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 it's not bad. Try and bend your rear knee. That, that back knee, there you go. Okay. Let's keep doing these. Let's take, <laughs> let's take a caller. Caller, you're on the line. Welcome to the show. How can we help you? Hello, caller. Hello? Yeah, you got to turn down your TV. You're on the air. Hello? Turn down your TV. You're on the air. What's up? I'm going to hang up on you in five seconds. Oh, hey. No, don't hang up. It's Gene. Hey, Gene. Oh, hey, Gene. <laughs> You know you gotta turn your TV down. I don't have a TV. I'm watching it on the computer, so Same it's like extra loud. <laughs> Same shit, G. You know what I meant. Okay, well, okay. I don't have I don't have a TV in San Francisco that plays Manhattan Public Access. Okay, so G, oh. what did you want to talk about tonight? How's San Francisco treating you? What can we do for you? Um. Well, like I've had. I'm actually probably the heaviest I've been in a long time. And um, I probably gained about 20 pounds over the past, like, year and a half. And, like, I'm just so desperate to lose this weight. Like, I actually have a plastic surgery consultant appointment in November. Oh, no, Gene, just no. exercise. No. Diet. No. Just diet exercise, and exercise. Gene. I'm also so sorry you left the show the week before we launched okay. a year-long physical join fitness us. challenge. You can do this with us. <laughs> yeah, Gene, join us from home. Don't Gene, get plastic surgery. And you're too surgery. young to need plastic okay. surgery. Yeah, you don't need plastic surgery, random Gene. Gene, do it to you your heart. You don't think heart. lipo is a bad idea? <laughs> Lipo's a really bad Lipo's idea, Gene. Lipo's a fucked Gene. up idea. <laughs> it, it'll destroy you. Oh. And then yeah. you'll gain weight. You don't need to remove your fat cells. You just want to make them smaller. If you remove them, then your body's gonna be all fucking weird and shit. <laughs> don't do it. You don't want your body Squats, all fucking weird and shit. Do lunges? <laughs> <laughs> Eat right. Ah. <laughs> All right, Gene, anything, <laughs> anything else we can help you with tonight, Gene? No, I just thought I'd, like, put my two cents out there and, like, participate in the topic and stuff. Okay, just don't get lipo, Gene. It's really depressing to You'll think about. Lipo, okay. Yeah, don't do it. Bad. You don't want to be lipo. Okay, all right. You're saggy. All right. And you're beautiful. Right. Yeah. Bye. And remember that. You're beautiful. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, Gene. Bye. We'll check in with you Bye. soon. Good to hear from you. All right. So what's next on the docket, PJ? Next is uh, just going into planks. Okay. okay. Working yeah. that, working oh, that core. Yes. What is yeah. that? The real deal. The real oh. deal. Yeah. Yep. So we're gonna get on our forearms okay. and just be nice oh, and flat. Oh, okay. Butts down. Hips. You don't want your hips sagging. Back you don't want your butt up in the air. Can we just hold that. Just hold it as long as you can. Okay. People taking photographs of them doing this all over the place. <laughs> is that what this is? Do that. Like this? Planking it's like done it. Under road too, like you go from like the squats. <laughs> Ideally, right, yeah, just exactly. Just make a circuit of it. Yep. Cool. Shannon, drop your butt. <laughs> yes, Shim, get it right. <laughs> Same with random George. Okay, drop your butt. Have any callers on the line? Caller, you're on the show. Welcome. How can we help you? Hello. Yeah, you're on the air. What's up? Hey, how you doing? Not great, man. What's up? <laughs> can you hear me? Yeah. 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 Talk. Hey, how you doing? I'm, I want the fish man to sing Jingle Bells. Jingle Bells? <laughs> it's not that he doesn't, he doesn't work I, like I want to I, I wanna sing with him. You want to sing Jingle Bells with the human fish? Is that what you're saying? I want to sing, I want to sing Jingle Bells with the fish man together. <laughs> jingle like Bells. Bells. You have to say Jingle Bells versus another Christmas carol. Jingle Bells versus have your mom call me later. <laughs> human fish, who wins that? Well, I can't, I can't see you. Okay, let's stand up. Me and the human fish, let's stand up. So Jingle you Bells versus Have Your Mom Call Me Later. Who wins oh, human fish? Look, I, I have your mom call me later. Oh, oh, I, you I don't want to sing, guy. man. I see the guy with a guitar. Human fish, he's, he's not, he doesn't want to sing. Jingle Bells, you ready? <laughs> okay, you do what you do. You'll, we'll see if I'm, you can get I'm him to join in. Are. Let's get a nice close-up on the human fish. We'll see if he joins this man in singing. <laughs> All together now, Jingle Bells. Yep. Let's get into the season. 
Do it, man. Sing. I'm ready when you are. Yep. <laughs> Lead the charge, dude. It's your call. You're the one who called. <laughs> I'm shy. You're, okay. you're the worst. Peace. You're the worst caller in the history of this show. And that's saying a lot. We had people just call up and shout racist out. Your face. All right, so planks are horrible. Hello. Planks are tough. Okay, planks are really horrible. Was that another caller I just heard? Do we have another caller on there? Hello. Yeah, who's this? <laughs> Hello. Yeah, you're on the air. What's Hello, up? What do you my want? My name is Nicolas. Um, I'm um, you're from I'm from Chile. I'm very very exciting with your show. <laughs> okay, oh, that's cool, excited. man. That, so, what did you want to talk about tonight? <laughs> this is officially the Weird weirdest. Call. Call. I'm talking about um, <laughs> slurpees. <laughs> In my visit. In your country, I love slurpees. Where are you um, from? Where are you from? I'm very hate. I'm very, very hate the prejuicio que hay con los slurpees. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, man, I think we're going to get going. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I'm, I love your show. Um, and the best thing of the humanity is viewing your show. I'm the best caller in New York City. Okay. Okay, man. Buenos noches. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> best person to operate a telephone in New York City. That's what yep. Yeah, best person to operate a telephone. Well, thank you so much for that very weird call. Um, Do we have you? any more exercises that we... Yeah, we can give you one okay. more exercise. Yeah, let's do it. One more exercise. Planks are the worst by far so Planks far. Omar, how are you doing, man? I'm about to die. Okay, Omar, oh you can God. take a break if you want, yeah, man. And, and oh my God, beat Shannon. Oh! Okay. Okay, Omar versus Shannon. Uh, another great exercise to do just at home is everybody has chairs in their house, I would assume. Mm -hmm. So if we could have a couple of chairs. And dips. Dips. Yes, exactly, Shannon. Oh, Shannon, why do you Shannon, know you're the personal shit trainer? Right, well, yeah. So all you guys do is we can get some tell, get some yeah, chairs and have some oh, have you guys do some Omar. dips. Oh, Omar with the oh. insults, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we'll all take turns doing that. Yeah, doing that. You can put your leg up again. You're hitting the core. Okay. 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 <laughs> so you're Beth, up, you Omar. Start, you start, oh, Randy George. Let's let Random George start off on the dips. <laughs> We got random George on the dips right here. I hope your dick doesn't get in the way. <laughs> That's a cod piece. Okay, do you want to take this chair, Bethany? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> While these guys are doing dips, we'll switch in and out on that. Do we have a caller on the line? Welcome to the show. How can we help you tonight? Hello. Yes, you're on the air. How can we help How's you? It? How's the show going? It's yeah. weird, man. I'm going to be totally honest. It's a weird one tonight. Ah, uh, yeah. It's Noah, by the way. Oh, hey, how's it going, Noah? Oh, pretty good. Uh, you guys got about 10 minutes left, it looks like. That's exciting. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for the update. That's good. That's good. Um, and have you guys been saying funny things? I don't know, man. We've, we've been getting lots of weird calls. There was an, uh, another show in here during our prep time. It's been very chaotic, but I think it's okay. Visually, I think it's pretty stimulating. Well, that's great. I mean, that's really exciting. So what's up with you? Oh, I'm in a cab right Okay. Where are you going, Correct. Noah? Correct, yeah. Absolutely. This is the worst yeah. call of the night, Noah. Noah, this, this is by far the worst call. Too. No, no, no. Let's talk some more. I got, I no, Noah, Noah, good night. <laughs> no, if you're here, you hang up on yourself. Noah, <laughs> no, thank you for the call. <laughs> good night. This is horrible. <laughs> All right. Can I throw something out there? Can I say something? Yeah. Uh, I'm inviting the audience, studio audience, everyone out there, to challenge me during this uh, weight loss challenge. If you email... Spofit2011 at gmail.com, and you tell me to do a minute of burpees, a minute plank, or a minute of uh, crunches, I will do them. You can email once a day. That's anybody out there watching. So you're going to let the audience dictate your workout? Yeah, I will do that in addition to my normal workout I do. Wow, Spofit2011. All right. So for this week, it's uh, burpees, planks, and uh, crunches. I'll okay. change it up next week. All right, sounds good. Let's go back to the phones. Caller, you're on the air. Welcome to the show. How can we help you? Hi, this is Mike. Hey, Mike, what's up? What do you want to talk about? It's Mike from the Handsome Men. Hey, Mike from the Handsome Men. You were on a couple weeks ago. How's it going? 
Oh, it's pretty good. All right, what did you want to talk about? I guess I have a question for the human fish. Okay, you have a question for the human fish. What's up? It is Don Sinelli or Chris Gethard. Wow! Oh. Human fish, Don Finelli versus Chris Gethard. To camera, human fish. Don, let's come up here. <laughs> it could be just tonight, not in general. Okay. Chris Gethard. You want to do that? Chris Gethard just won. Mike, thank you for doing that. Sorry, Finelli. Human fish knows where the bread and butter's at, baby. <laughs> human fish knows he's making. Sir, I'm gonna yeah. keep staying fit over there. All right. <laughs> thank you, human fish. That means a lot. Thank you, Mike from the Handsome Men, for the call. Let's everybody keep exercising, be it dips, planks, anything we've learned tonight. Let's keep going. In the meantime, okay, let's go back to the phones. Welcome to the show. How can we help you tonight? Hello? Caller, are you there? Hello? Yeah, you're on the air. What's up? Uh, question for the human fish. Okay, human fish, another question. Slurpees versus Jimmy McMillan. Slurpees versus Jimmy McMillan. Slurpees. Wow. Jimmy McMillan might have something to say about that next week when he's on this show. Human fish. Thank you very much for the call. Caller, in the meantime, they rocked it before. They froze the human fish in his tracks. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back to the stage the toys and tiny instruments. Woo!
banana man. What did you think of that? Amazing. All right. Optimistic. That guy was standing on that fucking thing, man. We're probably gonna get yelled at about that. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much. Pour the roof off of MNN Studios. Amazing. Now, human fish, stay right there, because I'm gonna bring up something controversial. Let's look at the camera. Rob, human fish, you've danced with both of them. I gotta wonder, because Rob Malone's long been known as the best dancer on this show, but I just saw a guy give him a run for his money, and I wanna know. Rob Malone versus Random George. <laughs> they were both just throwing down. I don't wanna create controversy. Rob Malone. Rob Malone. Yeah. 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 Rob, I don't know how you feel, but Random George was just going nuts out there. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? I mean, I know that I'm not dancing to the best of my ability these days. Wow. So you feel like you're slipping personally? Yeah. A lot of things about like everything in my life is slipping right now. Everything in so, your life is slipping right now. Are you okay? Is, this is the center of it. Okay. The dancing. All right. <laughs> we opened up a can of worms there. Yeah. I don't know how deep you want to go into like, this. I just felt really depressed like right during that last song. Wow. wow. Yeah. We just got this delivered to you via seamless web. Um, it's a Belgian waffle. Oh. Uh, Who did it? We don't know. We have no idea. And we turned the delivery man away. And then he said, no, it's for Chris Get Hard. Uh, <laughs> specifically, it's for Chris Get Hard? The Chris Get Hard show. Is yeah. there anyone here who wants to take responsibility for this waffle? It's already open. Wait, how, wait, isn't this like... <laughs> this could just be poison. <laughs> <laughs> Random Andrew, you may have just saved my life. Nobody here? All right, yeah, who wants the waffle? Who, wants yeah. who among our competitors? Yeah. What's yeah, that, Hallie? You have to eat it. Someone who wants to sabotage your weight loss. It so is that. Now, look at my shot. I'm the man, Drew Cotta. You should uh, taste it first. <laughs> you should be my food tester. <laughs> if I taste it, and I say, George, finish it. Madam George, I think that's a great idea. Anything I eat, you're going to test for poison first, Random Andrew. I'm not dying before you do. You got it, Random Andrew? What about Random George's munchkins that he brought? Is there anybody, anybody up here? Who wants some of that food, or are we staying strong? They do look really good, though. Okay. I don't Anybody want a munchkin or a waffle? I'm not in this contest. I'll take a munchkin. All right, Jesse, we'll take it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have set the stage for this weight loss challenge. We thank you guys all for tuning in. This has been a crazy show. I want to thank everybody for being here, specifically the Toys and Tiny Instruments. Woo! Fucking nailed it, man. That was awesome. I want to thank everybody. J.B. Amato, Killing in the booth, all of shipped together. Johnson. Thank you, everybody on our crew. Our cast will be back soon. Next week, the Great American Presidential Debate. Connor Ratliff versus Jimmy McKillen. Spread the word. We're going to see who comes out on top. The winner will be President of the United States. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. We love you. It is? Yeah. Who wants it? Has the board on? I got one of your plate on it. Belgium anybody? Okay, Riley will take it. Hodge Street, we love you guys. Thank you so much for sticking with us. I hear it was a little busy tonight. We apologize, we'll fix it up for next week. Presidential debate next week. Be there. What's up, dude? You're running with the camera. Awesome. That guy's fucking awesome. That guy's awesome, man. That's my favorite person. Live stream. Good night. Thank you guys for watching.